Hello and welcome to this week's Live Local and Loud with me, Kevin Gorn. On this week's show, I shall be chatting to the legendary singer-songwriter himself, Hugh McManus. And we'll also be chatting about his band, The Linden Tree Band. And as always, I'll be playing lots of homegrown music by local bands. Hello, I hope you're all well and are having a great week, as indeed I myself am. Okay, let's kick this week's show off with Jay and Lead the Way. Paralyzed, understand who the boss is Man, that's me, and only me, only her, only she Could ever comprehend why I feel free Let sleeping dogs lie, what will be, will be Had a beating, not I, not one reason to cry Every time we rise, surely after we fall the wonderful Jay and Lead the Way. Of course, he's uh, releasing his new single tomorrow. That's Friday. Uh, It's actually called Release, actually. And it'll be available on his YouTube channel um, at 6.30pm with the official music video. So, yeah, check that out. That's Jay Dagley on Facebook. Okay, so now it's time for a bit of Blitz Vega and featuring Johnny Marr and Strong Forever.
was the wonderful Blitz Vega, Strong Forever, featuring Johnny Marr. Of course, Andy Rourke and Cav from the Happy Mondays are also in Blitz Vega, so star-studded band. There you go. Uh, now it's time for a little bit of Jersey Bud and Change of Heart. Time it was, had to see it for myself. What I found heaven, but I was someplace else. Inside of me, I watched you come here from the night straight into my room. What makes me feel this way? Am I coming on too strong? What makes me look at you like that? When I know that tomorrow I'm gone Hey, when the train marks change your heart I turn away I went searching for a sweetheart of yesterday She let me know Let me stand in wonderful jersey bud and change of heart of course we spoke to jersey a few weeks ago on this lovely program if you want to check it out um, check out our interview it's on musicinleicester.co.uk speaking about interviews it's now time for this week's interview where i'm chatting to local legend that is singer songwriter hugh mcmanners and we're also chatting about his band the linden tree band uh, but first of all, we'll start off with one of his songs, Phoenix Rising. The wells run dry, just broken bricks and darkness, 200 feet. Too far down for human kindness Look up, 
The sky's a tiny moon above his head You need to burn You need to burn The apple tree Burks sweet and kind She gives him hope He takes shelter in her flames But even hope turns to smoke Charcoal into ash You need to burn You need to burn A fire to burn it all away Like smoke into the sky It had become a prison cell He tried to carry on But failed Driftwood burning The salt spits yellow flames It's air raid dark With surf like thunder Blinded by the searchlights Reborn in the sky You need to burn You need to burn A fire to burn it all away Like smoke into the sky It had become a prison cell He tried to carry on But failed You head a tiny circle of light Oh, that tells you if it's day or night A fire to burn it all away Like smoke into the sky It had become a prison cell He tried to carry on A fire to burn it all away Like smoke into the sky It had become a prison cell He tried to carry on But failed That was Phoenix Rising by the awesome Hugh McManus and the Linden Tree Band. And this week's interview is with singer-songwriter himself, Mr. Hugh McManus, who's from the band. Hello, Hugh. How the devil are you today? Hi, Kevin. I'm absolutely fine. That's brilliant. And thank you very much for joining me with me today here on Live, Local and Loud, my little show. Thank you very much for coming up for coming on now you're as well as the linden tree band you're a singer songwriter yourself back in the day so let's start at the beginning how did you get into music just briefly Hugh um I was um a teenager in Leicester playing in lots of bands started as a bass guitarist um played in bands like Medusa which were a heavy rock um trio um from Colville which did really well and um Then I left Leicester and my parents moved from Leicester and they never came back. So I never came back, but I carried on doing music um, all the time. And then I then I ended up forming a um, a professional functions band in London, which um, became extremely popular um, and did extremely well. And it became like a, a massive undertaking, really, singing in it, playing guitar managing it and um yeah we did all sorts of things we, we... but what made you join what made you start off medusa band in the first place just you and your mates wanted to start a band well they medusa back in the day they were quite a, a well-known um leicestershire band and they asked me to join i don't know why they asked me to join i can't really remember actually but uh, they were a good outfit because they were uh, extremely professional and um had their own van and had lots of really good gear and the whole and three roadies and the whole wow. thing was a very professional organization it was great 
And then, so you've had quite a checkered sort of career, haven't you? Like you say, you moved to Oxford and then you spent some time in the army and all that. Were you doing your music in the army? Yeah, yeah to an extent, but that was difficult because you're always moving around so you can never get to play with anybody else. And I hadn't gravitated towards doing solo stuff or writing my own music. So um, it was only really towards the end of my military career that I started doing more more definite stuff. But I had got together bands with some of my old music mates from outside the army to do like um, summer balls and stuff. And um, that was the start of this big London functions band. We were doing all these all these posh summer balls and um, and uh, everyone said, well, this is really good fun. <laughs> Why don't we try and do this, um, you know, do this professionally? And um, so it sort of kicked off from doing occasional stuff when I was in the army whenever I could to then leaving the army and I got on with becoming an author and, um, and I, with music as a sort of sideline really. Sorry if you can hear my dog in the background. Oh brilliant okay and did your some of your experiences in the army did they influence some of your music? I have um, very much sort of guided um, emotionally by all that and then my son went and joined the army and when he was posted out to Afghanistan when Afghanistan was in its heyday um, that focused my my mind, my songwriting mind. And um, so there's quite a lot of the songs have got that sort of background to it. Uh, and two of them are specific, uh, what I would describe as war songs. And um, we've just played uh, Phoenix Rising, which I think is the title track from your EP, from your Linden Tree Band EP. Um, would you like to tell us a little bit about that, about the song? How did it come about? And what's with the name? Yeah. <clears throat> The idea of that is that um, the, the phoenix, you know, this this um, miraculous bird, which um, when it all gets too old and um, decrepit, it sets itself on fire, experiences great pain and emerges brand new and re reborn from the fire. Right. Um, rather a dangerous way to proceed, but um, <laughs> I like that whole image um, because quite often what we do is we have all these problems and difficulties and we don't really face up to them and we put sticking plaster on it and we don't really address it and it just mm. gets worse and worse or our life just is is miserable and inconsequential whereas if you if you sort of took the phoenix analogy and you thought well to hell with this i'm going to address this full on and um you know okay it's going to hurt um but i'm going to emerge from this you know, from the fire, from the flames, yeah. reborn and revitalized. I think that's quite a healthy sort of way to think about things. Um, mm. That's what happened to me. So I thought that I should really pass that on in case it chimes with anybody else and it helps anybody else who's, you know, going through the same sort of worries. Um, right. I mean, basically, if you don't address your problems, um, they're going to get worse. Oh, absolutely. And they so, might get better. So that's my kind of message. It's a message of hope. And then just, just on the analogies of it all, there was this, there's two, two sort of um, images really in that song. There's the phoenix bird. And then the other one is this idea of, um, of it, what it feels like when you become, you have psychological problems. It feels very much like you fall, fall down a well. And this well's very deep and it's very dark and there's nobody else da down there and you're abandoned um, and you don't know how to get out of the well and you can't really climb out of it. So uh, I was sort of thinking, well, if you imagine it like a well, what would you do with the well? If you set yourself on fire, the well becomes a chimney. So this becomes a chimney which allows you to rise up out of it into the sky you know, like yeah. smoke into the sky and then you can explode into the sky and wow. become this new reborn bird. Wow, yeah. I hope that's not too esoteric, but that's the that's the emotion behind it all. Excellent. You've got one 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 imagination there. Well then we try and fit that to the music. So it's all quite yeah. um challenging really. Actually speaking about the music, it's quite an interesting song, isn't it? Because it seems to change sort of tempo or change style as it goes through. So I guess that's is that the phoenix um, dying and then and then being reborn? Yeah, um, well spotted. It, 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 tr trying to sort of make the music reflect 
Um, the lyrics is something which I do work quite hard at. And yeah. that, of course, is the joy of song as opposed to poetry. Um, you know, you've got this huge added dimension. So, and, and the number of words are very limited. So in terms of, of, a, of, of a written piece, it's like a postcard. But you've mm. only got a very small amount of space to write words. That's it. But like a postcard, you can Three also minutes. have a coloured picture, you know, a beautiful yeah. coloured picture on yeah. it. Okay, which, all um, right then. All right, well, let's chat a little bit about your, a little bit more about your music, but we'll play another one of your songs, the interestingly titled The Indian. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that before we yeah, play it? Yeah. The, the Indian's a 1943 Indian motorcycle. Um, the story on that was it was sent over from America for the Second World War. It did its war, but ended up in a, a barn in France, um, rusting away. And the protagonist in my story discovers it and takes it home and spends several years rebuilding it and forms a, a relationship with it because it starts first time after the rebuild. Mm -hmm. And then, um, but his, he then gets married, but his wife doesn't really understand the relationship he has with the Indian. And uh, it's all part and parcel of the, probably the relationship wasn't very good anyway. Right. And um, so he decides, oh, to hell with this. I'll just take the Indian and ride off into the sunset. Yeah. Um, it occurred to me afterwards when I'd written it that it could, it could have been the precursor to that um, song from which the, the song, uh, the, the, the film Born to be Wild. Um, uh, it could have been the precursor story to that, actually. I mean, why were three, three guys riding Harley Davidson's um, down to New Orleans, smuggling yeah, LSD. How did they get to become like that? And I thought, well, <laughs> if he went through this sort of experience that, that I described in my song, it might well be the explanation. Wow, um, yeah. Totally spurious, but um, that, that's kind of how I ended up thinking about it. Excellent. OK, well, thank you for that. So here's The Indian by the Linden Tree Band. A rusted wreck in an old French barn He brought it home, it took two years to fix It started with one kick Two hearts, they never missed a beat The spirit of the Indian never left him Don't know why he ever thought it would That she would understand He had dreams Like fish He needed help to land He was full of hope She didn't care Trick by promises He was never going to keep She didn't want to cause him pain But needed someone to blame Nobody owned him There were no rules If there's no God Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? Is always strong 
It's always what it is No judgments either right or wrong Just a touch of guilt Feeling happy knowing she has finally gone Who the hell are you? The girl I never knew Who the hell are you? That was the Indian by the awesome Hugh McManus and the Linden Tree Band. And this week's interview is with Hugh McManus himself. So, Hugh, now last time I saw you, you were performing live at the wonderful Sound House in sunny Leicester at the wonderful Western Park Auditions, which was yep. a fantastic performance. I really enjoyed that night. But you had, you. The, you had the unenviable task of being first on, I think, didn't you? <laughs> yeah yeah it was um but it was great there were loads of people there and um as you said wonderful atmosphere it was a yes. really nice kid excellent yes and that they're, they're a little bit chatty to start off with it must be quite difficult when you're playing to an audience that are chatting um yeah but what you tend to find is that the the people who are close up are there to listen mm, and um lovely. it's usually the people who are shouting at the bar and of course it's one of these things where um uh, if, if the sound guy turns it up, then they just shout louder. So yeah. it's a bit of a, yeah, it can be disappointing, particularly when you're playing solo acoustic and it's just you and there's no drummer making a lot of noise. That's it. But I think, I think they, they sort of settle down about halfway through or something, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Have... yeah. All you can do is, is plug, plug away at it, but yeah. Or, or, or just play more, sing more quietly and try and, hook their attention um it's a funny it's a funny game really <laughs> yeah i suppose um have you heard as to whether you got through or not no there's been a deafening silence which um i haven't got no idea what that means i mean it's sort of uh, hey we just carry on you know mm, and it'll no. happen or not yes okay well, I hope you do get through. So for those that are interested, the Western Park its festival itself is on Saturday, July the 22nd. Um, so it'd be good if you did get through because they do tend to have, I suppose, similar artists most years. So it'd be nice to have somebody different there. So, yeah, I hope so. Mm, yeah, well, I'm fingers crossed. Maybe, yeah, maybe this will tip the balance. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> we can hope um because obviously but, obviously they'll be listening to this so so yes absolutely send me a confirmation slip guys <laughs> give me the gig <laughs> brilliant um so you're now you're with the band are you more with the band or do you because i've seen you solo once or twice now around town are you um you know is the band a current thing or do you spend as much time in the band or without them or how's that how's that how's that working Oh, uh, it's all really rather unfortunate. We had everything all lined up, our EP all done and produced and stuff. Um, and then COVID came along and it knocked everything into, into a cop hat. So it's at the moment, I'm now playing the songs, um, solo acoustic, and I'm hoping to be able to actually bring in the band. It's, it's, it's a, it's a drummer, um, uh, uh and, and a bass guitarist that's it so it's a, it's right. a three-piece band um and um maybe later this year or next year um it's hard to tell really kevin the the music business is still kind of catching up on itself because mm. perhaps i mean perhaps they might want to play at uh, western park as well or glastonbury or anything like that as the band. well that, that, that will be definitely the idea once i get it going but you know, running a band is it's other people's time and it, it costs money and you, you've got to have got it lined up to a certain stage. What I like to do when I start a new band is to have a, a small tour to start with. Yeah. Um, so that you get to play quite a lot of gigs in a short period of time so that you get so you get to be really, really good, really sharp. Mm. And that gives everybody the enthusiasm to to, to carry on with it. That's true. Are the other guys in the band from Leicester as well or not? No, no, they're not. Um, this oh. is from my my time in in London, um, and um, 
No, the, the drummer Jeff Walker, he he's he's from East London. He plays a lot in in various pop bands. Mm. He's an extremely good looking guy and um mm. seems not to age at all. And so they 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 pick him up for you know, the record companies pick him up to do to do drumming when they put together these pop bands. And then mm. um and Steve Turner, um the other guy I've known well, I've known these guys all these these guys for twenty years and mm. uh he he lives he lives sort of near Cambridge. Um, oh crikey! So, okay, so that's quite yeah. a diverse. So that, that's why I mean most bands are, are like yeah. this. Actually, it's kind of rare that you're lucky enough to have the players that you you gel with actually just down the road from yeah. each other. I mean, it's wonderful if life would be like that, but it that's just true. isn't. <laughs> that's true. That so, means I've got to have a, a good sort of set of gigs all lined up for them. Yeah. you know, to so that we can pay the money to do the rehearsing and then so, you know, get the thing on the road. Hugh, if I can uh, utilise your experience now. So you're, you've got experience of the Oxford, well, Leicester music scene, Oxford, bit of London, um, and now you're back to Leicester. Um, so what's your opinions on the Leicester music scene at the moment? Does it seem quite healthy or is it as good as the others or, or what? Or what's, what's well, your yeah, I came from, from Oxford and the first gig I went to was down at Duffy's, one of Luke Broughton's, um, uh, you know, all day, all day. Yeah. And I was absolutely amazed at the, the standard of it. Yeah. And then the other thing that I noticed as I started to go around all the venues um, was the high standard of the sound, the sound engineering. Mm. I mean, in Oxford, there was one guy who was, who was, who was good, who was a serious player. And, but the others were all sort of people who were, thought they were. And there's nothing worse in music than people who think that they are good at it, no. um, but they aren't. Whereas oh, the good people, the really good people, know their own limitations and work within them. And I, I just the, the, delightful that all the, all the people that that I've I've worked with and, and 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 come to know, running the desks at the music venues here are fantastic, and that mm. reflects obviously on on the bands and and on the music. Um, the standard of it is very much higher. Um, so, what about the scene? So, the music, the bands, and the sound is great. What about the actual scene itself? Do you think it's thriving? You're going to some good it, gigs. Are they busy? It, it is. Yeah. Um, it, my own personal categorization of it would be that the Sound House is a really truly grassroots venue, encouraging you know people to come and have a go. Um, the musician is is a sort of pro pro venue, really doing unbelievably good uh, work with getting in tourist touring bands, so that we mm. can go and see, you know, really quite big bands full on in a small venue, which is brilliant. The shed is good. The shed there's a sort of the demography. It's a slightly kind of younger kind of vibe, but yeah, they're doing a good job. The shed are doing more nightclub stuff these days, I believe. Less yes. live music. Yeah, I was yeah. right. Okay, and I'm, I'm glad you said that. I wasn't gonna. I was gonna say that, but that that is a thing. And yeah. um, and I, the, the venues obviously make a lot more money doing that because they can go into full commercial mode. You know, mm. girls free from ten o'clock and yeah, and you know, drink deals and all that sort of stuff, which is nothing really much to do with the music at all. No. Um, so we, you know we have the musician and the sound house that are really very very serious music venues and they're, they're but you know i've played at them both they're a joy to play at um i've got a funny little um sort of promotion idea thing that i do where i go to venues and i i do videos and it's called night owl and after the the cafe that used to be on newark street and uh, my wife and i decided that we would like to help the sound house so we we um that they wanting to have some staff uniforms and see so, so we said well we'll do it so that's why you'll see the staff wow. at um the sound house are wearing a logo which has got a big night owl on the front right well, that's, that's us we, mm. we'll shortly be doing some promotion once i once i get to feel a bit better because i haven't been very well mm. and um but you know that's fine we're just happy that they've got a, a cool logo and they've got yeah just wanted to help them. That was all, yeah. really, and and because it's so important. Mm. Uh, I mean, I, personally as well, I would like to get involved with um, helping y younger musicians because there's a whole load of stuff that you you only learn the hard way, yeah. which I've had to learn by paying my dues. And um, when you don't know that that sort of stuff, you can shoot yourself in the foot very very easily. 
and just do stuff, which you might be really good musically, but, you know, you might just just you know, annoy the wrong people at the wrong time or do the wrong thing or, you know, not That's do the it. right thing. And it That's doesn't it. happen yeah. for you when it should. And Exactly, you know. exactly. So yeah. have, you, have you got any, any more gigs lined up other than hopefully Western Park Festival on the 22nd of July? Have you got any more gigs or anything lined, I have, yes. lined I'm, up? I'm playing at the Donkey on oh, the nice. 9th of May um i don't know anything about anybody else who's who's on that that particular gig but uh i will obviously be uh prom promulgating that as they say over social media really and um is that i've got a few other gigs but they don't come to mind immediately no is that one of the open mic nights or is it actually a, a, a gig at the donkey no no it's a gig um I, I i do like to go to luke broughton's um thursday open mics yeah and also um the the the, the status trio um one that that's always absolutely hilarious to to, mm. to go and play at because of the high standard of the of the you get a backing band which is of the highest imaginable standard wow. and it's ridiculous you go up there and you play and then suddenly there's all these notes and all this wonderful stuff that you you know you never that's, sort of dreamed of. So the status the status trio that's at the donkey as well, is it? Yeah, it's yeah. it's um it's there's two Thursdays in the middle of the month, and right. um and the the first one second Thursday is is the status trio, which is Mike Soul and all those jazz guys, mm -hmm. and, and basically you go and play uh, a song and um, they jazzify it. So wow. I don't do jazz, but that Mike persuaded me to have a go. So I, I worked out something that I thought might fit. And I played a, a verse and a chorus. And then suddenly, bam, this jazz band came in behind me with, you know, diminished thirds and suspended ninths oh. and all sorts of musical trickery. It was fantastic. Wow. So I thought that was hilarious. And then Luke's um, open mic nights, which are on the, the, I think it's the third Thursday of every month. They're yeah. always amazingly eclectic you've got no idea Gosh. who else is going to be on and that's really worth going to but no i'm playing on a um mm. sorry it's the fourth thursday oh. the fourth okay. of may right. at the donkey and it's one of um uh it's it's one of the promoters but i haven't really seen anything else about it yet but this oh, is okay. early days. it'll pro probably be in our gig guide i should imagine on music in music in leicester.co.uk so if people want to find out about it, it should be in there okay then hugh that's brilliant um and finally how can people follow you on social media right it's uh hugh mcmanners and the linden tree band which is a bit of a mouthful on facebook um or just hugh mcmanners and it kicks up my um my own Facebook thing, and then you can get onto the um, the Linden Tree Band thing. But if you just Google Linden Tree Band or Hugh McManus and the Linden Tree Band, we have a website, and um, I have Excellent. a music website. And Hugh McManus also throws up all sorts of stuff. There's this dodgy writer called Hugh McManus who's written all these books, and that's oh. my <laughs> that's my alter ego, my my <laughs> doppelganger. <That's> who <laughs> all right <laughs> then, Hugh. Job. That, that that's so, excellent. It's quite, it's quite, a, uh, quite, quite a unique name. Anyway, I find usually it, it comes your your name comes up top of the search list anyway when when I Google it. Which well, is that's great. that's excellent. Delighted yes. to hear that. But yeah. I mean, I'm kind of the easiest person to find. But yeah, you know, it's um... all right, Hugh. All right, look, it's it's been brilliant chatting to you today, Hugh. Finding out a bit about your music and the band. So thank you very much for coming on. We should just sign you out now with one last song. So can you tell us about the next song, which is going to be Starlight Coast Express? Starlight Coast Express was is is the story of how I met my wife, um, but it features a train called the Starlight Coast Express, which is a real train which goes from Seattle down to Los Angeles. Um, but it's called the Coast Starlight Express, but you can't write a chorus with that very easily. And it also features a goddess and, and the moon and various other kind of hippie type stuff. And it's wow. not literal, but it's in emotionally, it is actually how I met my wife and how it all how it all happened. Excellent. So and, and thank you very much for the interview, Kevin. That's quite all right. I'll be listening to the lyrics in this one. That's quite interesting. I, I love finding out about people's songs. So here is Starlight Coast Express by Hugh McManus and the Linden Tree Band. Empty stations built for waiting, endless tracks of steel.
vibrate 10,000 diesel miles for love Perfect from heaven Trains don't come, life speeds past Track weeks die, love don't last Each break, car lanterns red then fades One night express could take all that away Another train, another town She hadn't planned to stick around She found him lost and going down One said your goddess always guaranteed success So she smiled and took him with her On the Starlight Coast Express The moon gives love and controls the sea Her guiding light a silver key The empty station far behind That spring inside his gut unwinds The locomotive's mighty light Forging through the dangers of the night The stars, the rolling sea Nowhere to go, no place they have to be Another train, another town She hadn't planned to stick around She found him lost and going down Said your goddess always guaranteed success So she smiled and took him with her On the Starlight Coast Express Always guaranteed success So she smiled and took him with her On the Starlight Coast Express All the gods in heaven never guarantee success We should all just get together On the Starlight Coast Express Just finishing off with a nice reggae beat there. That was my interviewer. I was chatting to the wonderful local legend himself, Hugh McManus, and he's in the Linden Tree Band as well. Okay, hopefully I'll get to see him at Western Park Festival. But now it's time for Ollie E's latest and everlasting.
That's the wonderful Ollie E and Everlasting. He's playing at the Shed this Saturday night um, at about 8 o'clock. Uh, he's headlining the lineup actually, so that'll be a great night. And another band who's playing live this weekend is the band we're going to finish off with on today's show. It's the Whiskey Rebellion and Goodwe- Goodwin Sands, and they're going to be playing at Soundhouse on Saturday. Down in the shingle below Build a castle made of hands Where cobble flowers grow Where many mariners abide We'll climb a forest made of mass And drift upon the tide Side of old, my soul just sip to those long paths and toast till times untold. Come play with me when warlords plan. Sovereign rule And abject ships lie all on man With a broken bone and jewel Oh, 
the wonderful Whiskey Rebellion and Goodwin Sands. Don't forget you can see them at the Sound House, Sunny Sound House in Sunny Leicester on Southampton Street on a Saturday evening. That brings us to the end of another live local and loud with me Kevin Gaunt. I hope you enjoyed the show. Don't forget if you want to listen to any previous shows check out musicandleicester.co.uk also, if you want to see what gigs are happening around Leicestershire, check out our handy gig guide. That's in musicandleicester.co.uk. So do have a great week and I shall see you here, Hermitage FM, next Thursday at 5 o'clock.